you can create a page in a couple ways. The first way that you can create a page is you can go here. Perplexity just announced a new feature called Perplexity Pages. Perplexity is the AI tool that I use the most. So when I saw this new feature, I was intrigued. In this video, I'm gonna go in depth about the new Perplexity Pages features and what it means for us as content creators and brand builders. I'm David Dundas, COO of the eight figure brand YGN and I run an agency where we connect creators with brands. I wanna help you get paid to do more of the things you love. Perplexity announced this new feature called Perplexity Pages. And the idea of Pages is that you can ask a question and generate a web page from it. I use Perplexity for both um, search and as a replacement for ChatGPT. If you're searching for things that you want to share, then maybe if it's synthesized into a format that is even more shareable, it could be useful. So let's just walk through what Perplexity Pages actually is. So it says seamless creation. Pages let you create, organize, and share information. Search any topic instantly. Receive a well-structured, beautifully formatted article. Publish your work to our growing library of user-generated content and share it directly with your audience with a single click. Makes sense, right? You can search Perplexity. We take the information out. We package it and we probably put it somewhere else. We turn it into a YouTube video or we turn it into a blog post. But this doesn't live in any of the places where all of our other content lives. It lives on Perplexity. They talk about their growing library of user-generated content. That's something that you should know about is that these pages that are generated are hosted on Perplexity's website, not on your website, on your blog, on your social media. It's they're hosted on Perplexity. So what sets Perplexity pages apart? Customizable, they're adaptable. So the structure of your article, the visual, you can customize the pages, great. It's a tool for everyone. It's for educators, researchers, hobbyists. It doesn't say bloggers, it doesn't say creators or anything like that. So maybe this feature is geared towards people who are just curious about a topic and they wanna share what they have learned. They've searched perplexity. They wanna share their collection of searches in a way that's a web page, but not the searches. What I wanna do now is jump into how this feature works and some of my thoughts on it. You can create a page in a couple ways. The first way that you can create a page is you can go here and you can just go to page, right? And you can just say what's your page about. And let's just say the creator economy. And so it doesn't say written by Kofense, it says uh, curated. And so it has this take on monetizing a creative content online. So the creator economy refers to the rapidly growing ecosystem where individuals leverage digital platform technology to produce monetized content directly for their audiences. Okay, so let's see, implementing a subscription. You have this content and then you have other sections. So authenticity and relatability, the rise of micro influencers. You can add media here. So we can say finding media and it will grab an image. I don't know where this image came from, from the internet. And if we want to add another image, let's just say the rise of micro influencers. I don't know where this came from either. There are some kind of like question marks of you're just going through and you're clicking, clicking, clicking. And you're not exactly sure where this content came from. So let's just say table and let's just click go. Okay, so now we have a table of the factors and then the descriptions relating to micro influencers in a table format. Let's say more and we can move these sections around. And if we want to write more, we can say, what is the future of the creator economy? And then let's just add another section. What are the leading startups or companies facilitating the creator economy? Okay, so so now we have this page about the creator economy. We can preview this page, and this is what the page looks like. Here it is, and then we wanna publish it. So you can copy this link, and it just says now it's live on Perplexity. So let's just put this link here, and this is it. That's the first way to create a page. That's pretty much the feature, right? That you just click create a page, and the AI goes out and creates the page for you, and you can ask another question, and you, know, you have uh, this content. The next way that you can create a page is you can convert a search query to a page. So this was the query that I put in. Give me a detailed uh, breakdown of the feature, how it works and what it would be useful for, including different takes and opinions on the matter. And so it gave me this breakdown. I can convert this past query to a page. So we click on convert to page 
Okay. So this is the question I asked. Give me the lowdown on perplexity pages. And I wanted to search YouTube. So it created this page, right? So here we go. It selected the same page, potential use cases, see if it does anything. So we have an image here and then questions and concerns, same image. We can add sections here. And if we want to preview it, we can preview it and let's publish this page. And so this is what it looks like if you visit a page that's generated when you're logged out. So as I was testing it out, I couldn't quite figure out what this was for. I don't benefit from creating a page for perplexity. It feels like this feature to me is for new user acquisition. So perplexity maybe had someone on their team that said, what if we take the questions that people are generating, we'll turn them into a page, we'll structure them, we'll make them more SEO optimized, and then they can share it with whoever. So what that means is that if you decide to, you're creating a page and then you're curating the information and you're sharing that link out and then people come to perplexity and what would they do? They'll ask a follow-up question, right? So they want to know more about perplexity's new feature pages feature. And they might ask, is it available for non pro users. Okay. It's not available for non-pro users. And so then you might be curious enough to ask another question. You might be curious enough to create a new thread, or you might be curious enough to even sign up for perplexity. And so that feels like what this feature is for. Someone on the marketing team in perplexity said, how do we get our users to bring more users into perplexity? And so they sat around in the room and they came up with how do we use our AI tools to share and make perplexity more viral? I got it. Let's launch this feature called pages. And so I think there is some good ideas around it, but I can't imagine how I would use this in a real way. And based on how it works right now, I can't imagine how it would be useful. Even these examples that they featured on their blog, they're not really that interesting. Beginner's Guide to Drumming, How to Use an AeroPress, Writing Kubernetes Cron Jobs, Steve Jobs Visionary, Super Silicon Valley, things that people in Silicon Valley are generally speaking interested in. So if we click into Beginner's Guide to Drumming, learning to play the drums is an exciting journey that can bring a lifetime of enjoyment. With the right approach, some dedication, and a bit of practice, you'll be rocking out in no time. And this feels like it's generated by AI. There's no personality. It reads like an AI wrote this. Qualities of great drummers. It's like being the heartbeat of the band. You set the pace and keep everyone in sync. Top drummers in each genre. Yeah, it's not actually helpful. The concern that some people have is that you're just using AI to generate not super helpful content that inevitably will end up on the internet and rank. And so it wastes more time again because you're not getting useful information. So I think this is something that left me scratching my head a little bit about perplexity pages. It's not a feature that I, I can imagine lots of people using, especially not myself. It feels like it's a feature that perplexity built for perplexity. You know, another thing to note with pages is that if you convert a search query to a page, that search query is then gone. It can't go back to a search query. So sometimes I'll go back through my threads and I want to look at a search query that I may have used in the past. When you turn the search query into a page, you lose access to that past search. So that's something that I noticed, but that is the feature. That's perplexity pages. It is interesting. I don't know how useful it is just yet. And I am interested to see how they iterate on this feature and how it could become more useful. Yep, that's it. And it does feel like it was a feature that came from their marketing team to drive growth. From what it seems like to me, Perplexity is trying to get us to create these pages using AI. The quality isn't very good. We'll just spam the search engines and make them even worse. I love Perplexity. I use it every day. I spend hundreds of hours in it probably every month, but this is not a feature that I would use just yet.
So just want to give you guys that rundown on my thoughts on it. And if you have any questions about the pages feature, or if you view the pages feature and you think that there is something interesting there, let me know. I'm curious to hear what you think. I've also shared a few of my pages in the description. So check it out. If you're thinking about upgrading as a Perplexa user, I've also added a link where you get $10 off your first month. And thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. And I'm David Dundas. Signing off. Peace.